All right, people, I'm back again. God, it's so good. Like, I was stopping this, pick me up some breakfast right then. I wasn't planning on stopping the video right then, but it did. But it stopped with a verse. That's how my phone always kicks me out. Like, my, my verse of the day will override everything on this phone. And uh, the verse was, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard the things God has prepared for them that love him. Now, if you can read other different verses, those who love him, those who are called according to his purpose. Right? Loving God and living for him goes hand in hand. We know through scripture that confessing that the Lord is your Savior in Christ with your mouth is not enough. How do we know that? Through Jesus himself. He said, many would say to me in that faithful day, and I love saying this because I want people to get this down pat. Lord, Lord, haven't I done this and that in your name? He was like, depart from me, you that work in equity. So giving your life to Christ, it's a life, it's a whole process, your whole life, it puts in God's hands. Now, some of the same other verse, this same Bible app that I got on my phone pops up here and have a brief description. God's going to give you over to your dreams. Like, it's real quick. Like a little motivation. I don't like stuff like that. Because it kind of misleads you a little bit. My dreams? My dreams? My dreams are irrelevant. My dreams mean nothing if they don't line up with Christ. I don't want to follow my dreams. I don't follow after Christ's dreams. After what he said, I know the thoughts I have towards you. So if you got thoughts towards me, Lord, it ain't about my dreams. If my dreams don't line up with you, right? Let's think about these false prophets in the last days. They followed after their own lust, after their own dreams. You understand? And they're going to they gonna, uh, trick a lot of people. Christ said they'll even trick their elect through the way the, the gospel is going to be preached. They're going to even fool the elect. So it started now. Be ye holy, for I am holy. If you ain't spreading this word correctly, you wrong instantly. I guarantee you. I can almost guarantee you. If you're spreading the gospel incorrectly, you got another thing coming. How do I know that? To whom much is given, much is required. Woe to those who teach. They will, great, they will face the greater condemnation if they preach in Rome. Woe to those who teach the gospel and preach the gospel. Be not many teachers. What? Be not many teachers. Well, Lord Jesus, I just hope I'm teaching it right. But I know who gave this to me. I know who gave it to me. I know for a fact the devil ain't finna give me the proper word. He always give people distorted gospel. And all the people that work with him do the same thing. All the people of his synagogue, they teach the same message. You understand? You gotta be careful out there, people. One thing I, he said, uh, forbid not to prophesy. Let's try to prophesy. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, Paul, I know what you mean. But prophecy, prophesying on people's lives, you better be careful, you false prophets out there. You better be careful when prophesying. If it ain't from God, that's blasphemous. You don't think that's all. People don't. People don't think that can be considered blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. I think so. I think blasphemy against the Holy Spirit can cover a lot of things. Using God's name to say anything that's not true or against His word. That's blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. He said, all sins will be forgiven except this one. So what unforgivable sin 
where the people that don't receive the mark, I mean, receive the mark, who names are not written in the Lamb's Book of Life. It's either two things going to happen. They never deny it. I mean, they never accepted Christ in their life. Or they denied him. I mean, they denied him. They denied him by not accepting Christ in his life. Or they committed the unforgivable sin that can't be forgiven. Blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. I don't watch people. People focus too much on this unforgivable sin. You better focus on it. You'll be a fool not to. You will be a fool not to focus on it. But they don't want you to think you can commit a sin worthy of death. Even I can't remember Peter or Paul, one of them said, you know, there is a sin that's forgivable. I, I have you pray for that, but there's a sin that leads to death. I, I don't want to advise you pray for that. What? That's scripture. Certain things don't even make no sense to pray for, according to scripture. How do you know that? Jeremiah, he told Jeremiah the same thing. Don't pray for him. I got this. You done did your job. I got them. So think about everybody at the appearing of the beast. It's no use to pray anymore. Let them be unjust still, says the Lord. Let them be evil still. Let them be righteous still. It's going to come a day when prayers are not going to go to nowhere. Especially the beast around. It's too late. You done had your time to give your life over to Christ and to repent from your evil ways and your evil doings. But nobody likes to hear that. You always got time. <laughs> you better stop lying to folks. You understand? You better stop lying with yourself and lying to people. Making people think they got time. You know, my brother was telling me about a young man that had a car accident yesterday that was fatal. And the weird thing about it is his dad passed by. And was like, whoever was in that car didn't make it. Come to find out it was his only, it was one of his, it was his son. Tomorrow's not promised to you. That had to grieve his soul. Just because you're young, that don't mean you got forever. I'm just being real. Just because you're old, don't mean you're right. So, with the Bible says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You better work out your own salvation as a young man, a young woman, an old man, an older woman, middle-aged woman, middle-aged man. You better work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Because if not, you might miss the mark. You might miss the call, roll call. You might miss it. As you can see, the, the Bible already says a lot of people are gonna miss it. <laughs> so you don't wanna miss roll call. You don't want to, your name, names are being sealed in the Lamb's Book of Life right as we speak. Do I know who's gonna be sealed? By no means. But I know all those who call the country his purpose, all those who love God with all this understanding and truth, all those who give their life over the Lord, all those who keep his commandments and try their best and live according to the Christ's word, will receive eternal life. And God knows the heart, God's the judgment. All I know is what to say, what he says. You understand? Those are the ones. And I just hope and have faith that my name will be written and many other people's names will be written. But it's up to you to get your name written there. Nobody can put your name there but you. And you got to do it through Christ. Does that make sense to you? Have a blessed day.